Hey, what's up guys and uh, welcome back. I'm pretty proud of myself that I'm doing a second video already. I kind of panicked a little bit after I posted my first vlog because I kind of realized that I went out for lunch and that's probably like the only social thing I was going to do for about three weeks. So, you know, I didn't really have any good vlog content after that. But then I was on Facebook and I saw this article about these jeans and I was like, wow. Wow. They're perfect. Basically, there's this jean brand in LA which has made a pair of extreme cutout jeans which are $168. Um, and you know, maybe like, wow, cutout jeans, $168. If they're from a good brand, you know, like whatever. But um, when they say cutout, there's nothing to them. That like their strings. Hold on, I'll do that thing. Look at them. I'm on a mission to become the most LA I can, but you know, I'm also a bitch on a budget. So today we're gonna do a bit of a DIY, some arts and crafts. So I'm about to head down to the op shop. Hopefully we get some cheap jeans. And then we're gonna bring them back. We're gonna work some magic and hopefully by the end of it, we're gonna have some super cute jeans, you know? Let's go. Okay guys, we're in the car, we're going to get the jeans. We're on the way to the op shop. So the op shop is literally 30 seconds away from my house. We're already here. I'm excited, I'm ready. Okay, we're at the op shop. Let's go find some jeans, eh? Hi, how are you? Thank you very Thank you. much. Oh my actual Jesus Christ. So basically that Bratz doll $70 vintage jacket in that charity shop, the lady gave it to me for $40. I love my life. Right boys and girls, we're going home. <laughs> Op shop haul. Wait, hold on. I need to go get a chapstick because my lips are dry. Then they're dry. Bye. <laughs> we hydrated, fam. Oh, why did I say that? Um, I'm back from the charity shop and as you can see I got more than a pair of jeans for this video. You know sometimes just like the op shop gods kind of just bless you and You rock up to the op shop and everything just falls into place. Everything you could ever want is there. Your life is beautiful. There's a rainbow going across the sky. You're basically like just living your best life. Um, that happened today, so I'm just gonna do a real quick haul before we get into this DIY. So these are obviously the DIY jeans, they're not important. Next, I got this little red denim skirt. I got this skirt, which is too big for me, it's got frills. Then, this, wow. This is my Halloween costume for the next forever years because I'm just gonna be Sully from Monsters Inc. This was marked for $70 and I got it for 40. Suck my dick. Okay, onto the DIY. Let me go get my art supplies. I should have thought about this earlier. I didn't, sorry. Jeans. Why am I so sweaty in all of my videos? This is so annoying. It's supposed to be nearly winter. Um, so I'm gonna go get changed real quick and we're gonna do a bit of movie magic here. Ready, three, two, one. Um, I'm so annoyed. Anyway, kids, we're back. Welcome back. So I figured for this DIY, you need a pair of $1 op shop jeans and a pair of scissors. 
I'm using my mum's good sewing scissors. So if mum, if you're watching this, sorry. I'm just pulling up a picture of these jeans for reference because I thought I had one from earlier, but apparently not. So basically what we got here, guys, is super easy DIY. As I said, literally just need scissors and your jeans. So as long as you have a $1 rack at your op shop, you're pretty much sussed. Looking on the website from Karma, which is the obviously the brand that sells these jeans, they're supposed to be a relaxed fit, which is kind of true for these jeans, I guess. Once we cut them up, it's going to be a lot more relaxed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> high rise, yeah. These jeans aren't so high rise, but I mean like pretty much everything's high rise on me because I have such a small torso, so... Anyway, on to the DIY. I love cutting things, so this is going to be super fun. I just don't want to ruin this, because otherwise my DIY career will be ruined for good. I don't know how short I want to go. I should probably have tried them on and folded them. Hold on. They're like, above where like, the converse would sit, so probably like, yeah. Very scientific. So I think we're just going to get in there. Go for it. Let's begin. Wow, this is really satisfying. If these end up being shit, you know, at least I only spent a dollar. Oh. By the way, I'm really scared my camera's gonna run out of battery because I thought it was fully charged, but um, turns out I'd left the camera sitting on overnight so it was empty and I had to charge it while I ran down to the op shop so hopefully this doesn't take like an hour and hopefully my microphone battery doesn't run out either because I haven't changed that since 2015 when I bought it how do people do this um so yeah and then so we're not wasteful you can t Take the last little bits of denim that you cut off and um, you, can, you know, you can make, you, you don't be wasteful. So now we've got um, appropriate meg length jeans. We're going to get to the fun part, which is cutting the extreme holes. So the design of these jeans is that there's like a little bar across the knee bit. I need to cut the first hole. So where would my knee sit? Let's measure again. There. So we're going to cut the knee part there. I'm going to f*** this up so bad. You know, I'm starting to think these jeans actually might be worth $168 because this is freaking hard. I thought this would be fun. Can you guys even see what I'm doing or is this literally just me plays with scissors for five minutes? Like, what is this? It's me plays with scissors for five minutes. We're just cutting a square out. Cool. I think. This is not straight. So how's your day going guys? Mine's going pretty good so far. Um, you know, like I went to the gym, got in like a little bit of a workout, had some toast, and now I'm doing some arts and crafts with some of my best pals. Aww. Um, again, save the scraps for any potential future arts and crafts. Oh, there we go. We got the first extreme hole. Shit, I forgot I have to do the other side. This video is actually gonna take longer than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna do that and <laughs> we'll be right back. We done a leg. At least the bottom of a leg. Oh shit. Are you joking me? It's not, it's not even. Okay, we'll fix it. So basically the next 10 or so minutes of footage was just me talking shit and cutting up this pair of jeans. So I've left it out. We're going to fast forward now. Um, I've done both the leg holes, I think. Enjoy. Okay guys, we did it. We made it. We did... The bottom bits looking pretty good so far if you ask me you know we did hit a few snags it kind of looks like a nine-year-old did it which isn't ideal because you know we are going for a very high fashion look here um, and I did bruise my thumb a little bit because these scissors are really heavy and cutting through fabric is hard you know what happens you know and when we face adversity we just we we keep going you know but the next step essentially is the thigh holes these ones are a little bit different than the bottom holes because they come like up here hey so has anyone else noticed the bit of fluff in my hair up until this point because i only just did and it's annoying the frick out of me have fun watching the rest of this video and the pockets have to remain intact. Then on the back, it's literally just a thong. So we'll get started on that. I don't know how I'm gonna do these bits here with such 
heavy duty um, chunky scissors, but you know, there are people dying and I'm complaining about how hard my DIY is. Pathetic. Ow, my thumb! Hey guys, so just a little bit of an update because I've literally just been cutting fabric for like 10 minutes. And um, we had a bit of a few snags, a couple of little setbacks. I did cut into the pockets like multiple times um, and my thumb still hurts. You know, but we're pushing through. This is what it looks like so far. I'm pretty happy with it. What have I done? Ah, no. Guys, um, so I was stupid and I cut through one of my knee flaps. So there's the knee flap and uh, there she flaps. So that means this DIY is going to have to be a little bit more diy -y because I'm going to have to do some sewing. This is not going to be high fashion! My camera's going to die. Why do I even bother? My neighbour just looked at me. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go charge my camera battery, sew my knee flap back on, and we'll resume this little DIY in like just one second. One eternity later. I fixed it. Kind of. Um, so now's the exciting part where you get to try them on. On the website, they've like styled it with this like black. I suck. I literally suck. The back doesn't have any straps. And I just spent 10 minutes sewing. This DIY would take a normal person 20 minutes. Half an hour tops if you had a shit pair of scissors. But it's taken me an hour plus. I don't know how long I've been sitting here. I'm so shit. I'm the shittest. Anyway, so as I was saying, they've styled it with like a black jumpsuit. I don't have one of those, so I'm going to wear my racing togs from year eight. Um, and some white converse looking sneakers. We're going to try these on and see how it goes. Hopefully I haven't just wasted two hours of my life. So you guys, I've got the jeans on. They feel like they would give you really bad chafing. Basically the thong part of it just is making me a bit uncomfortable. Like it's just not greatly placed. I don't know how they made these jeans or why they made them. I'm never gonna wear these again. I'm a fucking genius. I'm a fashion queen. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching this DIY. If you wanna give it a try at home, please show me it, cause I wanna see the shittest one. Yeah, I'll see you next video. Bye. <laughs>